Welcome to decimals. We're used to seeing numbers like this. But what about this? This dot here shows us that this number is not 24. This is our whole number, or our unit. We have two units. This is called a decimal point. And this is how many tenths we have. Tenths are a part of a whole number. Numbers after the decimal are similar to a fraction. They represent part of a number. 2.4 is in between 2 and 3. We can see this more accurately when we add in the tenths. In between every whole number, there are 10 tenths. If we put an arrow showing us where 2.4 goes, this is where it would be pointing. It is 4 tenths more than 2. Let me show you how this looks using pizza. This is one pizza. Here we have two pizzas. Here is where our decimal point would go if we knew that we had more than two pizzas and less than three pizzas. This is what 2.4 pizzas look like. See, we have two whole pizzas and only part of the next pizza. Let's check that. One, two, point, four. See, we have four slices of a pizza that was cut into ten pieces. Someone must have eaten the other six slices. So we only have 2.4 pizzas left. In activity one, you will have to colour in the amount you have using pictures. 2.4 coloured in looks like this. Another way to show how many of something we have is using a place value table. We have two units and so we write two in the units column. The decimal goes in the decimal column and I wonder if you can guess what goes in the tenths column. That's right, it's a four because we have four tenths. After the decimal, the further away from the point, the smaller the number. In activity one, you learn about tenths and hundredths. In this activity, you will have to fill in the place value table and colour in one of the grids. This is how 1.92 looks in a place value table. We have our one unit or whole, our decimal in our decimals column, we have nine tenths and two hundredths. This is a blank colouring grid. And when we've coloured it in, 1.92 looks like this. Use your imagination to think about how much pizza that is. We colour in one unit because we have one of them. We colour in nine tenths because we have nine of them. And we colour in two hundredths because we have two of them. So we fill in the table and we colour in the colouring grid. When you are done for each number, you should have a table that's filled in and a coloured grid. It is now time to start activity one. Make sure you watch this video again if you're still unsure about anything. If you have any questions, make sure you either write them down for me to answer for you next time or ask your teacher for help.